Yo, what's up guys? Today we're going to be doing some more Matadi Bayashi and today we're going to be playing some more of the, you know, the sort of eternal fragment thing. We're going to be seeing some more of the different fragments, I suppose. We're going to be probably having a little bit of a hard time finding out which ones to actually do, but yeah, I'm really excited for this. It's going to be really interesting. Um, Yeah, last time, my god, we learned so much. I really found it interesting last time. I love to sort of, you know, especially learning about like the Japanese history. I thought that was really cool. And I thought learning about EDA, Oishi, oh my god, Satoko and Satoshi as well. Dude. The, oh my god, the fucking dismemberment as well. That was just, that was big. That really was big. That's been like one of the biggest mysteries. Just kind of just answered to us in one play session. <laughs> well, I am very excited to actually continue this today. I wonder um, what we're actually going to do. Oh yeah, I forgot it can it never saves at the right place. Oh yeah, no, I, I've been selecting the wrong save. That's why I'm so not used to actually, um, yeah, you know, like saving through here. Cause I swear, in like every other visual novel, getting this save menu doesn't work. Like it didn't work in Semi Hollow Boss for example. It was really annoying actually, cause I kind of needed it. Right, connecting fragments. Here we are. So now the big question of what the fuck do I read arises? Um, right. Yeah, we can't do that. Um, oh god, where do we go? No. Oh, we can do Huda de Dika, I think. Yes, we can! Nice one! Right, this is going to be interesting. Oh my god, so is this actually going to tell us how they met? <laughs> wow. I ran into, into Satoko while on my way to the grocery store for my mother. Satoko said she was going there too. So we decided to go together. After exchanging our shopping lists, it became easy to guess what the other family would be having for dinner. Oh, oh, that's fair. <laughs> Satoko's family is having grilled fish and cooked vegetables. Hmm. It's actually kind of similar to what I had, I think it was last time. I don't know. Growing Salisbury steak. Oh, that's nice, yeah. Man, that sounds so very good. It's not just very good, it's so very good. That does actually sound kind of good though, to be fair. I don't mind the good fish, but it's the... <laughs> it's the vegetables I'm left fond of. I'm certain there's still plenty of pumpkin left from the other day. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Oh god. Then I bet you, then I bet you'll be getting a lot tonight. Yeah, for real. Poor boy, <laughs> I don't appreciate knowing the pumpkin is gonna show off on the dinner table. What's so bad about it? I mean, I get that it tastes bad, but it's not like it's gonna, I don't know, just gradually grow sentient and kill you or something like that. <laughs> Me? You don't like pumpkin, no matter how it shows up. Yeah. <laughs> Does she? Ika, you have some food you're not fond of, don't you? That's right, you don't like daifuku, cream puffs. Or anything sweet. That's actually kind of funny um, Satoko says that, because like, daifuku, cream puffs especially. Those are the foods that Hanyu loves, oh my god. That's actually really interesting, that. It's not that I don't like those things. <laughs> I just used not to eat them. If I wanted to, I could eat um, sweets forever. I could even, I could even eat pumpkin pie too. Damn. Of course, she's using another weird though. Honey, it's just like, ow, ow, ow. It's my best impression of her crying right there. Uh, as you can see, I'm really, I'm really, really getting into the voice acting. You know, I'm doing so well. Ooh. Oh, it's not that you aren't a big eater. Yeah, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. <laughs> Conversations like this are how I have fun. Yes, yeah, Satoko is my best friend. I usually don't like grocery shopping, but if I'm with Satoko, I can make it into an enjoyable evening shot. Oh, that's really nice, yeah. Hang on a second, so they actually met when, um... Wait, wait, wait. 
Oh wait, so this wasn't actually when they were meeting, it was just like a random encounter they had. I don't know. The supermarket, there's a crisis in other shops forming a little district, a shopping district. Oh yeah, yeah. The grocery store is busy this time of day. All the housewives in London are already out here to shop. Oh, right, yeah. I love that a shopping district. So Sotko and I have different things to buy. We said to do our shopping separately. Welcome, welcome. Oh, Rika Tama. Are you shopping for your mother? What a good girl. Nipa. Nipa. I'm a good girl who can go shopping by herself. It's actually kind of surprising that she is actually allowed to go shopping by herself because I thought I might have fucking hated her just because of how different she was. Oh, you already are a good girl. Here, I'll keep this. Damn. This guy's literally giving this thing to free. It's only got for free. There were several, there were several candies from... Wow. Oh. There were several candies with the owner, owner's occasional asthma attack inside a sea full of change. Um... Hanging in the fun. Damn. Why would you have candies after an asthma attack? I picked up a sweet from there and gave it to me. It was my favourite flavour, strawberry milk. That actually sounds really good to be fair. I'll put it in my pocket so I can brag about it as I'll later. That is not something you should brag about. So the cause is really the one that's getting bullied by the people in the village. Oh my god. <laughs> I get a lot of fun out of teasing Satoko and making her jealous. She always overreacts. <laughs> so I never get bored when I'm with her. Oh. <laughs> what do you have in the tonight, <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> His voice. You're on board, hmm? To be fair, he does actually kind of sound like a butcher. I was thinking he kind of sounded like a pirate as well. We're making um, Salisbury steak. We're going to have um, flower shaped fried eggs on top and draw pictures on them and with ketchup. That's actually really cool. Sounds like <laughs> his laugh though. Oh my god, that beats Satoko's laugh. He has the best oh ho 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 laugh. No doubt. That sounds like fun. It, it does actually kind of sound like fun to be fair. I enjoyed that conversation while filling my shopping basket. But then I overheard them with a whispering. They're talking about something that's a little harsh. They're talking about Satoko. Must have really hit her, especially because of. No, I mean it would have normally hit her, but I, I'd assume it would probably like hit her, especially more because she's younger. Oh god, how long do these village traitors plan to stay here? Village traitors. There's a difference between village traitors and the sons and daughters of village traitors. Village traitors, I should say. This is just leave. They don't even have the guts to go shopping themselves and make their daughter do it instead. How fucking stupid is that to say? What about Nico's family then? The one woman on and on. Ever since the Hojo family and Muzo Mazaki family got into a huge fight at the explanatory meeting for the dam project, the Hojo family has been ostracized within the village. Yeah. At first, there were a significant number of families in favour of leaving while the Hojo was, yeah. But the main part of the Somazakis led, led a push to completely solidify the village's opinion. 
and as the tone of unified resistance grew stronger, the pro-evacuation family steadily grew quiet. Oh, yeah, that's fair enough, yeah. Yeah, so I'm assuming just because of the villagers' opinion being so strong and them being so fierce and mad. If they wanted to leave the village, then they would get hell from the villagers, even if they left Hinamazawa. So, yeah. Maybe they'd be attacked, who knows. The problem with harassment led by the Somalakis and the Kimiosis. Damn, the Kimiosis as well? Fucking hell. Two of the three, um families with, with powerful influence on the village also played an effect too someone's like family in the northern family into an example yeah 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 definitely to ensure there will be no more pro evacuation supporters yeah had lived there for generations and the villagers also knew that they themselves would be buried in this village so this harassment put a lot of pressure on them to make the Hojo family, who was it that agreed to make the Hojo family the leader of the pro evacuation group of the explanatory meeting? That's actually kind of a fair question, who was it? Those same people no longer said anything and... Damn! And they even joined it. In all of us in the Hojo family? Jesus Christ, so the people that actually helped them made... were actually like for harassing them just because of how strong the village is. Jesus. then became pressure from the entire village. Yeah, and we can see this sort of getting worse and worse, but it sounds cool. The Hojo family is hardly wealthy and they haven't paid the town council fees in a long time. Oh god, and they're probably gonna look on that. And they're probably gonna take the piss out of it because that's what these people do when they're in situations like these, I'd assume. When things were peaceful, nobody said anything about it. Yeah, but now, but now that the wind was blowing, you're different. The Hojo family was asked to pay off all of their late council fees immediately. Jesus Christ! God, talk about like. So, I just really found that insane. This is just because of. This is just because of their relationship getting worse. Just because they've angered people from wanting to leave the village, they have to pay late fees immediately. That's just really surprising. Talk about bribery or what? Well, not really bribery, just like unnecessary stress, really. God. It wasn't an amount they could afford, but the Hodgers recognised the fight was being picked with them and they responded to it. Oh, right, so they actually tried to, I don't know, get it fixed. And so the Hojo family quit the town council. So they were actually in the town council. I didn't actually realise that. But I suppose why would they be at that explanatory meeting if they weren't? God. But that 
only played right into the village's evil plan. What the hell? Why is there blood? Oh god, making an enemy of the town council might face meant facing vicious harassment. Oh god. For example, the place to hold your dump their trash was a provisional dumping site established by the town. Oh, and the waste management department. That is a problem, yeah, because the town council they have big influences. So what if now because they are enemies, they're gonna say like fuck off. Under the council agreement, only council members could, could use it right. Ever since the day the Hodge Army quit the village council. <coughs> their trash bags will return to the Jesus Christ. I mean, I really get that these people were strong. They are really sort of really invest in their beliefs so much so that if anybody sort of does anything to defy it they will they will come back on them but the only thing is i didn't realize they were this bad i mean this is just insane it really is i mean that just really shows a burning passion these people have god what the fuck furthermore all the bags were torn that's insane that is, that is just genuinely awful. On top of that, I went up a sign on the head road near the Hordor family. It said, private road, no trespassing. <gasps> you, what? Is that actually legal? Private road, no trespassing, only council members permitted. But this is the road their house lives in. No, oh, hang on, it isn't. But it's the road right next to That's insane. That is actually insane. Stop an old man stood and guarded the road. Hang on a second, you do wonder if this head road has been actually the only road that leaves out leads out of Inamizawa. No, it can't be. No, I don't think it is, but still. That's absurd. Stop an old man stood and guarded the road, saying that he would not let any of the Hojo family members pass through. A private road is private property opened up to the public, so it looks just like a normal road. However, as private property, the only can for Oh shit, that really is bad to have them on the bad side. Yeah. I suppose they can legally do that. However, as private property, the owner can forbid anyone else to pass through whenever they like. Shit. More and more, the village piled on vicious harassment. Jesus. The fear of an antagonism was spread throughout the entire village. The entire village I think that's just the most insane thing and that fear is going to make more people sort of become on their side it's ridiculous it really is and people became afraid that if they supported the Hodgeville family they grew through the same thing yeah this has made the Hodgeville family even more isolated exactly if anybody is spotted then what happens to them and it's just really scary to think but this is proper bullying. It really is. And why? Because they're sort of going against the village ideal that they... I mean, they're not even supporting it. They're just wanting to leave the village and sort of surrender, I suppose. Be offered the conversation and start a new life. I can't believe that this is happening to them. It's just... It really just, just show you a part of society that... Let's be real, everybody wished wasn't there. 
Your numbers are really just sound like a horrible place. You, you really do surprise, find it surprising that like we are sort of seeing like one of the most strong and nice friend groups in the entirety, really. That is without Hinamazawa you know, syndrome, obviously, but like, yeah, still. It does surprise you. The grown ups haven't told their kids about what's going on, so Satoko wasn't harassed anyway at school. Good. But it wasn't hard to imagine she probably spent her days feeling so anxious. She could hardly breathe. There. No, I, I would hate to be bullied by a whole village. Oh my god, I couldn't imagine just like. It's just. I mean, especially because it's a bigger village. Like, I couldn't imagine just going anywhere and. If you see one person, you'll probably get harassed by them. That's just how toxic this idea is. I'm actually kind of surprised that the grown ups haven't actually told the kids about what's going on, but that's really good. Even the women whispering in here, uh, even the women um, whispering in here aren't saying anything directly to Satoko. Yeah, they're just talking about her. But it's not like she doesn't notice their muttering and their cold stares. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It must be really horrible, and especially because, to keep in mind that Satoko, I mean, let's say, even if it was my age, it'd be awful. By the way, I'm nearly 16, that's my age, for sort of a comparison, but like, this kid is probably like 10 at the very most, and she's getting this every single day, I can't imagine how much stress it must be, and the only thing is like, you know, for example, like, let's say you get bullied at school, home's an escape, but home's not an escape, and school is the escape at this point, it's horrible, and if anything, home probably isn't an escape because of how unsafe she actually feels in her environment. That is before it does actually become unsafe. When did this village become so cold towards her? Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Yeah, as, uh, well, I'm not her best friend. If I was her best friend, that would be weird. But like, yeah, as a best friend, it's very sad for me. But yeah, if I was the guy, I could definitely see that. Hell yeah, like 100%. Sattoko's shopping experience is nothing like mine. Yeah. When I say hello or buy things, I usually get treats or a discount. But that doesn't matter to Sattoko. Oh, God. So she has to go through this every time she goes shopping. On the contrary, she said, Last on purpose. And sometimes shop owners even pretend they don't hear her. So stupid. Obviously, people don't want to have anything to do with her. For what? Well, so they don't. Their reputation doesn't go, and as a result, they don't get bullied by the entire village for, you know, the belief that the whole jaws are horrible. That's for what? That's what for? God, that's awful. I mean, you would have thought these people, even if they are bullies, they want to. They want to make. They should be thinking. If they, even if they hate the Hodgers, they should be thinking like, "Oh, we can make, we can make money out of this kid." So you might as well let her do her fucking shopping because you get profit if you do. Like God, these people are very. Let's just say dumb. <laughs> with the housewives crowding the shop, telling the fishmonger what she wanted, but she kept on getting in the what? Jesus. That is sad. She's decided to keep her smile and pretend she doesn't mind, but I know. I'm actually, it takes guts to even do that. I'm kind of surprised she did. She was able to. It was far too painful for her to endure. Oh. Oh, God. At that point, 
coins. Let's go drop their coins on the ground. Oh, that must have been really annoying. Maybe I think I got stuck. Oh, that must be really awkward as well. Oh, maybe I think I got stuck on something when she was trying to put the change back into the wallet. I ran through the crowd to help her pick them up. Yeah, good for her, yeah. But as I did, I noticed something. Oh, oh my, yeah. Yeah, no, I suppose. I've got dropped a lot of coins and is struggling to pick all of that up, them up, but nobody is helping her. I think that just really shows how sort of I don't really know how much these people don't have any ethics to these people just because they believe oh hoard your hoard your bastard 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 like it's insane wait i should not be using the word bastard in this case i should use asshole because bastards actually have a meaning here yeah because i always use the word bastard for like an asshole but it's actually like derogatory for somebody who doesn't have a dad so it's like not a correct word to use. Arsehole. Like, they're just hold your arsehole. Like, oh god, it's so stupid. It is just sad. It's not just that, it's almost like they're acting like they don't even see her there. Yeah, of course they wouldn't. Yeah, just look as good as you can while you see like a little girl just drop her fucking coins and not even help her. I wasn't expecting anyone to help her, so she's the one who dropped them. But, but, there are so many people around, not even one is trying to aid her. I know! It's insane. I think when you said this, you really do realise how much of a leap the whole things that happened to me, not all of you were. Satoko, Satoko I'll, I'll help you. Yeah, good. Ah, uh, 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 I'm okay, Rika. I'm Rika. That reaction is all... Yeah, yeah, fair enough, yeah. That reaction is all I need to tell her, her she is. Yeah, it must be really... It must be really tough. Furthermore, when I started to help Satoko, Oh, God. Yeah. How dumb are these people? Furthermore, when I started to help Sotokol, the other, ones, other housewives started to pick up the coins too. As if it's the natural thing to do. Yeah, just because she doesn't. She wants to... Oh, they, oh, they all want to look good. Because like, Asuro does is going to curse them if they don't or something ridiculous like that. Yeah. So they can, yeah, 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 yeah. So they can only help if a shrine main of the Hudede family does. If I didn't help, they would have disregarded her completely. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, but you have to look good to her, even though she literally sees through your plan every single day. <laughs> it's ridiculous. And the fact that other people helped only because I did hurt something with them. Oh no, I suppose so. That must be really hard having a friendship where like you get one person that's really respected and another and the other one that's just the opposite. That must be really hard in terms of like not only like jealousy but like, you know, the feelings of hurt really. I grabbed the coins from the housewives without thanking them. Yeah, yeah, go good for her. I'd rather spit at them than do that. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't really surprise me her expression. Thank you very much. Rika. Rika. Minasa. Everyone. Because she's even choosing to say thank you to everyone. Even though they basically as good as didn't help her. That's just really surprising. If she didn't thank them, people would talk about that too. That's fair enough. She's got to have some, she, like, just that alone really shows, like, how strong she is, really, to actually be able to say thanks to people like that. Forced her words out of gratitude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
as I look down at her with blank expressions, I can't stand this. I wonder if she's actually going to say anything. I mean, to be fair, she is the, like literally the triangle of the hooded um, house, so you do wonder if maybe like she could potentially convince people, but I don't know, it just doesn't really sound likely. I can't stand what Sato is going through right now. I know what, definitely. If we're done, let's go, Sato. Yeah. Frustrated, sad, and bitter. I don't blame her. I would be as well. What has Satoko done? What has she done for real? She's just existed. Just because of her family, she had to face all this. She really don't realize how horrible they're being, especially because like Satoko could. I mean, apart from Satoshi, obviously, like Satoko could arguably be the person that's going through the most trouble in the entire village. Like, I'm not even exaggerating. It could potentially be the case. And then, like, I'm sorry, I'm talking about, like, without the whole abuse from the villagers, but that as well is just horrible. Like, they really don't realise how much damage they're doing. But, oh, because she's a hoarder and they don't give a fuck, it's ridiculous. Reality is just too cool. Yeah, yeah, my god. Everybody loves me, but can I share that love with Satoko? Satoko must be wondering why people treat me so differently. Yeah, it's just really interesting as well, like, the thing that makes Satoko so hated, her family, is also make what makes Shadika so loved. I should have gone shopping with her, or rather, I should have done her shopping instead. Yeah, no, I agree. I suppose I could definitely be a way to sort of prevent, like, you know, just the horrible treatment she gets doing her shopping for her. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have a sort of, I don't really want to say cold, but like, bad sneeze going on. What, what is it, Rika? Yeah, I feel bad that you um, drop your points. So here's, here's something that will make you happy. Oh, is she going to give her um, the, you know, the strawberry milk candy? Oh, oh, I hope she does. Oh, good for her. Yeah, I wanted to, I wanted to at least ease her pain a little bit, so I pulled out the strawberry milk candy I had just received. But Sasuke refused to take it. God. I can't even speak to and froze. She saw. She saw me getting this candy. Yeah. That person wanted you to eat it. So if I did it, it'd be rude. Oh, but they wouldn't know. How would they know? <laughs> Unless they're you know, doing like police level surveillance on her or something ridiculous. But that's just illegal stalking. That wouldn't happen. <laughs> me and kept walking. Oh god, I must have hurt. Wow. I'm really... Yeah! Without even saying goodbye, she continued onto her house with the shopping bags in her hands. That really is surprising. Oh, I suppose I must have really hurt. Oh, that's even worse. I suppose it must have hurt her what he can actually try to do to help her really, you know. I... I only wanted to ease her pain. No! No, I know, but I ended up rubbing salt in her wound. I love that metaphor, yeah. Not metaphor, analogy, sort of, yeah. Yeah. How can I call myself her best friend? Oh, she didn't have bad intentions. If anything, that is a really nice thing that she tried to do. If I could, I would have crushed the candy right there. Interesting. No, but... She knows now, she can maybe do it next time, who knows? Interesting. 
Oh, that really was a sad story. I mean, my God, it really is just surprising to see like how much the Hodgers actually face. It really does surprise me. It is awful. It's just disgusting. I think it really shows like just. I think it just really shows how sort of horrible you know, Amazon is, like my god. It really shows how sort of ruled by the superiors these people are. Right, I wonder um what are we going to do, I wonder. Um right, we don't really have many of these at the moment. The forgiveness of New Good and our sins, that's gonna be interesting. Uh, what can we read? Cerebro spinal fluid. Fuck. Oh, there's so little things that we can do. Oh, what am I see? We can't read this one yet. Oh my god, this is this is a nightmare at the moment. I have no clue. Oh, I wonder if maybe this could be. Yeah, we can actually read the second sacrifice. Right. Am I right? Yes, I am right. Okay, before we do that, I'm just gonna blow my nose real quick. This is going to be interesting. Hang on a second. Have we even re read the first sacrifice yet? Well, I don't want to. I don't want to exit it out. Oh shit! Did I forget to bring my water bottle? Oh, you've got to be kidding me! I think I did. How can I forget to bring my water up? dude? I literally had it in my hand. Oh no, I didn't. I just. Dude, look at this guy. He literally forgets to put his water on. He puts his water on his bed, and he doesn't put it on the floor. I'm really good at life, aren't I? I really, really am. I'm gonna survive when I'm older, I'm sure. <laughs> Alright, I should stop. Right, this is gonna be interesting. Sotoskun is a good brother who takes great care of his sister. I agree, yeah. He wants to visit Sotoko Chan straight after school and kept encouraging her to get better every day. Oh, that's really nice. And I suppose it must have really made a difference because Satoshi and how much Sotoko looks up to and loves Satoshi really. Without even hearing Satoshi's stories, it's obvious to me that Satoshi Chan never had a good relationship with her step parents. Um, I bet you this is EDS point of view. He, she, especially, she especially didn't get along with her stepfather. Satoshi Chan even called a child abuse hotline once. Yeah, yeah. And the thing that I think is even worse is like, this was genuine, this was genuinely her thoughts, it wasn't any lies, it was just, it was all genuine. I think that's just the most awful thing, but that was because of her memories of her different stepfathers actually mixing into, sort of, worsen her interpretation of the one that she currently had. I think that's just so horrible, that, but, yeah. Not only that, her parents ended up dying in an accident, so she she just wasn't able to withstand all that damage. Yeah, yeah. Sotokosan is still very young, so everything must have been horrible for her to go through. I couldn't agree more. Fortunately, she has a wonderful brother. Yeah. Am 
emotional wounds are hard to heal. Couldn't agree more, yeah. But nothing heals those wounds better than love from family members and love like, yeah. I'm sure that one day Sato Chan will be able to smile again. Yeah. And that's true. It really is. I mean, it is very, very. It's very long until that happens, but it does happen. She's still in shock, but when she talks to Satoshi, she smiles a little bit. That's really good. Yeah, that just really shows a sign. And that really shows how good Satoshi has actually been to Satoshi. Oh my god. Always even the police department keeps requesting to see her, but I think I need to protect her for just a little longer. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, always she. I, I mean, I get that you need to know the questions and the answers to the questions he has for his um, theories, really, just to get a lead on who actually did it, but yeah, it's impossible. She's too disturbed. While he's passionate about his job, I wish he'd be a touch more sensitive. Yeah, that's fair enough, yeah. But at the same time, this is the guy who literally sort of did, you know, like the black market things. Um, he didn't do the black market things. He was the people that stopped the black market things that were only keeping their, the, you remember the black market rice in like 1947. Without that, and they wouldn't be able to survive. I mean, they sold their entire belongings for it, and yet he still caught the people. Like, you know, I don't really think a man like that is going to be sort of respectful of boundaries. <laughs> that much, at least. It just doesn't really surprise me, you know. If he opens, if he, um, if he reminds her of her parents' accident, yeah, yeah, fair enough. Her emotional wounds will start to open again. That's the one point I have to I, I worry about with Santa John. Yeah. That was a knock. I heard somebody knocking on the door. I was stuck on I was stuck on the sun. It doesn't look right wearing a nurse's uniform like that. She's a licensed doctor, so she should wear a white coat and that one. Oh, that's interesting that. I didn't actually realise there was a nurse's uniform she was wearing. And act like one. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's fair enough. Maybe this was fun for her, but I think she might be insulting the real nurses. I didn't say anything, though. Yeah, I suppose it's not really the best thing to do, because you do not want to get in bad relations with your people, but yeah, it is, it is still kind of odd. You can't deny. It is. To the idiot. Hey, I'll talk to you. Oh, oh yes. Well, Satoshi, excuse me. Oh, so he was actually um, interesting. Oh, hi. Oh, sure. Satoshi-kun. Hello, Satoshi-kun. Satoshi-kun. This is the um, Satoshi-kun company. She's always alone, so I bet she's lonely. Yeah, fair enough. Ne? Okay. That's not true. <laughs> Why is he blushing? Okay, Satoshi-kun, you're in charge. I wonder if I let Satoshi-kun take over. Yeah, yeah, good luck to them. Oh my god. It is really sort of the best people. I find it funny that everybody here is blonde. But like, anyway, um, yeah. It's sort of the best, like, combination really Satoshi and Satoshi-kun. ところで何かありましたか。ここでは何ですか。ちょっと失礼。オブダウン。オブダウン。おしさん but when it comes to Tokuna Zong, it's rarely the case. Yeah, she really is a bit of a weirdo when it comes to stress. She's just like the opposite of what one should feel when stressed. So 
Are you sure? Oh, I wonder what it could possibly be. Maybe that is. Maybe some sound, whatever it is. Oh, shit. They've actually discovered about the Hinamazawa syndrome here. Damn, level 3 or above. That is pretty. I don't really want to say impressive, but like significant. That's a good point. Yes, the initial test results show she has a possibility that she's at level 3 or above. We need, to we need to keep her here and run some more tests. Yeah. God. Her results aren't in yet, but from what I can see, it's very possible that she's at level 4. Jesus Christ, and level 5 is the level that's so deadly to sort of be in that you die if you're in it, basically. That's scary. So she not only has, like, everything she's going on and dealing with, but she also has Inamazawa Syndrome, so that's insane. But yeah, that definitely does explain, you know, the feeling that potentially her parents were out to murder her just because they didn't want her there. And she made their life quite, quite harder. Yeah. Mm. Sounds like sparkled in a weird way. Yeah, she doesn't exactly look very phased by this information. There's a reason for that. For us, finding patients in the terminal stage is a valuable boon to our <gasps> You've got to be fucking kidding me. No, fuck. What? Don't tell me they're going to dissect. No, no, no. I, I don't want to believe that. Four is not terminal, is it? In fact, as a result of dissecting the murder suspect from the last... Second, so wait, so you remember that leader of the Dam Project? Maybe that would actually really explain why he was never found. Jesus Christ, that's ridiculous. So he was dissected, and that's why he was never to be found. That is absolutely just shocking. That was the person that Takano was actually going to bring in. But hang on a second. So I thought Takano actually got somebody from the hospital when um, finding people for potential dissection. So maybe he was actually committed to a hospital. Who knows? Maybe that was because the madness escalated into, you know, you know, froaty, froaty, scratch, scratch. Yeah. In other words, we finally managed to isolate the pathogen. Oh, interesting. It really is interesting to think. Do you do you congratulate them for their achievement or do you feel you dissected a human while alive? Because they're both very valuable thoughts. We discovered that when the host starts, the pathogen melts away within a few hours, so it actually melts away. Interesting. Once that happens, it's undetectable. Oh, right. That's why we never found the pathogen we, when we performed autopsies. Yeah. It's really odd though, I don't really understand, because like, I think, now your body would undoubtedly become colder when nothing is actually happening in it, when you die, so it'd be colder. It doesn't really make sense to me why it'd have like, let's say a melting point, like, a point where it actually sort of melts, a temperature that's lower, because when the temperature is like 37 degrees, it can survive, and yet when it's lower than 37 degrees, it melts, it's just kind of odd. Let me just search that. Yeah, the temperature falls. Odd. 
Yeah, 24 to 26 degrees Celsius. All right. It's just odd. Scrapbook of Doom. <laughs> I wish I'd made a lot of progress after that. What we found in the past year is easily surpassed by the late Dr. Tolkien and found in decades. Jesus Christ. study in the nature of the effect and the symptoms of the pathogen as well as the treatments and vaccines yeah that's a lot to keep in mind only two people are studying this as well that's amazing in other words a living specimen who's at the terminal stage is ne a necessity for our research that is really scary wait I do wonder I mean I mean, we obviously know from everything we've seen, like, if they, if they did actually die, I don't think she would be alive afterwards. And obviously, if her you know, numbers ever internationally got worse, that definitely would also be the case, but it's just really scary to think, what the fuck are they thinking of doing to her? However, we rarely find a patient who's gone that far, who's reached level 5. Oh, right, so Terminal is level 5, thank God. In Amazon Syndrome once created huge numbers of level 5 patients, but today it doesn't have such potency. Yeah, yeah, definitely. What does potency mean? The power something has to make an influence or impression. Right, fair enough. that we need to secure level 5 we have to secure level 5 patients or patients who are close to reaching level 5 as quickly as possible just really really need to hope that she doesn't actually reach level 5 but the only thing is no matter how bad her numbers are syndrome gets subtle she exists I don't really think I don't really think she will ever turn against subtle she it just doesn't seem like her I think he's definitely a reason that she won't get it subtle because possibly qualifies to be their next sacrifice to keep this strange disease a secret we can't let Oh my god, what? We can't leap we can't let patients who may be a level five go. We have to run more tests first. Then we'll figure out what to do next. Well you just hope these tests turn out differently. Fucking hell. In any, in any case, Subtle Town seems so calm. Her behaviour was nothing like the man from last year. Yeah, and yes, she's at level 4. Interesting. Who's the man from last year? So this is the... Oh, oh, wait. So this is... I think... I'm assuming the man last year was the... Uh, leader of the dismemberment thing. Initial tests are an error sometimes. Yeah, you really bloody hope that they could potentially be in an error. But the only thing is... I think it may be likely because they're saying it's level 4 here. It's either the we've um, seen something when the symptoms have actually calmed down, but we've always seen um, level 3 in Amazon Syndrome instead of level 4, so I don't know. Initial tests are in error sometimes. We'll have to wait for the results of more detailed tests to be determining how serious her condition is. Yeah. Let's admit her for observation. Lisa the staff no to get things ready. Oh, God. Wait, hang on a second, so... That sounds scary. That's just unbelievable, though. I mean, 
I mean, I get that they have to do this from a research point of view, but the only thing is, this is really fucked, this research. I mean, like, genuinely, it's just like, you have a disease. You're not going to die from the disease. No, you're going to get doctors and mad fucking scientists like Dr. Literally opening you up and dissecting you. I'm not going to imagine the pain that would be, but what I'm trying that they would have to go through to be dissected. I don't want to imagine that. Actually, I kind of do. It's interesting. Okay, I'll imagine that when I'm not doing this. Probably imagine it when I'm bored at school. You know, this game is so fun whenever you're bored at school. I remember. I think it was in uh, the last week of summer. It was in Sumi Horoboshi when I was playing that. So don't blame me like that was literally one of the most question based games ever in the series but I was questioning the theory so so much <laughs> that's so funny it was actually really fun though saved a lot of my time Sounds like a formal answer, but if the results come back positive, that'll be the green light for a dissection. Shit. That is scary. I don't know something I've done that well, but I've known her brother's skin through the baseball team for a long time. To think that he is actually even as much as considering this really just really just is awful. It is. How could I dissect the apple with skin size? Yeah, yeah. Exactly, the person that he's actually tried to improve the life of for so long. How could he do that? I really wonder how she's going to get out of this one. I mean, she's literally defenseless. If anything, the people that are masquerading as people that are going to help her and save her are the ones who aren't. They're the biggest threat, really. And they are actually a really big threat if they actually, if Satoshi, if Satoko actually tries to get away. Tokyo is a big fucking organization. The mountain dogs are good soldiers. Corrupt, but very good at their job. They will never get away. I can feel scary images flashing in my head for the first time. <laughs> oh, God. Of course she's laughing. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> what? Everything is already taken care of? Shit. She smiled as if telling me the session has already been prepared for too. You've got to be kidding me. They don't even fully know if they should do it yet. Oh my god. Is it just her who's smiling? Yes. Am I smiling like her too? Well, bloody hope not. I did that line last year. I didn't feel guilt beforehand. Yeah. But once I started, it was like I was in. It was like I was in paradise. That is weird. All the pieces of the puzzle that were left by the late Dr. Takuma fell into place, and at the same time, they didn't. How exciting it was. Why did they not around there? I suppose just discovering the passages isn't going to discover everything. But, oh god. I can't believe you prioritise over this, over the fact that you are doing something so severe to a human being. It's just genuinely surprising. First ones to take the first steps to solve a mystery, that is. I don't even know how to 
explain this feeling to those who have never experienced it. There's no way to describe it with words. The only thing I can say is that even a year later, I still remember it vividly. Yeah, it really doesn't surprise me. It is a very significant event, I mean. But to be fair, it isn't really as significant for him. I mean, he's literally done, like, probably, I'd assume, a lot of lobotomies beforehand. So it probably isn't really the most significant, but still. He's never actually dissected a brain, I suppose, maybe. I don't know. So the results? Oh god, please, like, have a remote... Um, a ounce of humanity in the media, oh my god. So the results show that Subtle Skin's beloved sis beloved sister is to be dissected. Can I control myself? Can I stay calm? But that means I'm a failure of a human being. Thank you. Thank you. I know very well that the Hozo family was treated poorly by the villagers and I know what Satoko-chan had to go through. Also, I know that Satoskin loves his sister, loves his sister, who is his one and only blood relative. How can I dissect Satoskin using my research as an excuse? Yeah, even if you use it as an excuse, it's still horrible. Horrible. But the only thing is, even though this other person that he dissected wasn't as important to him, what about his family? What about the people he knew? What about the people? What if maybe he was somebody's father? That is actually a fair thought. That is a really fair thought, actually. What, if, what about his co workers as well? Or were the only co workers in that damn construction project oh, at that place? The 160th one? As well as an angel, I suppose. guilt for the man from last year but I feel unbearable guilt for the Wasapachan good I mean yeah good because that won't that means this this will be less likely to happen and I mean the thing is I suppose this guy is a man I mean those didn't really add much to it but she is a kid and she will lose her life if she does this or she will have irreparable brain damage let's be real That means what I did last year was very simple. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I don't care if a, I don't care if a stranger dies. My God. And to be fair, you probably can have the thought that they, you can have the argument that they were gonna die, and they were gonna definitely die. They weren't gonna die peacefully with them. Um, you know, as our syndrome getting worse and worse. I suppose. I don't care if a stranger dies, but I don't want such a chance to die. That's not right. Yes. Even that point where it's strange and I was not right. All lives are equally precious. Yeah. I tried to convince myself that he was a violent murderer. Oh, but maybe he only became that way because he was at the terminal stage. And I really wouldn't be surprised about that, yeah? Oh, damn. 
Maybe he was a model citizen who was worthy of respect. I mean, he was a construction worker, so it's not exactly an easy job to get into. Unfortunately, he became ill and ended up doing what he did. Maybe he was just a victim. Maybe he was a victim himself. Just like my father. Yeah, fair enough. I know more about Inomazawa syndrome than anybody. Fair enough. This disease makes people act in bizarre ways without those people realising it. Yeah, they don't realise it. That is very true. So when the people at the Temple stage do such strange and violent things, one should be sympathetic. Yeah, definitely. I mean, these people literally they have no clue. They've done nothing to provoke the disease. It's just bad luck. And there's nothing that they can know about it as well. But I suppose that's the hard world of disease. That's brutal brutality of diseases. That's every disease for you. sooner but I only did just now. If I didn't realise what a sinful, what sinful research I'm working on, I agree, yeah. I'm really surprised that he's, I'm really surprised that he's only just realised this, even though this is a year after he's dissected one person. What's the result of course detail of the test results came back? The results say, what the fuck? What? The results. How is she alive? You've got to be fucking kidding me. That is scary. That is really damn scary. The results say level 5. She's at the terminal stage of the terminal stage. It's actually a surprising result. It is, yeah. You really do surprise why. You really do find it surprising why she's not going like. Yeah, you know what I'm doing on, the, on my face cam, which I probably shouldn't be doing because it looks weird. <laughs> In last year's case, the patient was extremely deranged. Yeah. According to Dr. Masan's records, he was he complained about itching coming from the lymph nodes all over his body. He wanted to claw at his throat, just as the late Dr. Dr. mentioned. Yeah. Hang on, there's lymph nodes all over our body. Now catered. Um, so where two or more major blood vessels converge on your body. Neck, armpit, chest, abdomen, groin, and behind your ear. Down so around 500 to 600 lymph nodes are present in a human body. Groups of lymph nodes are present in the neck, collarbone, under the arms, armpit. That's really interesting. The groin. Right. Down. I didn't realise that. God, that must be horrible, though. Having itching all over. But it is actually really surprising that the part they find most interesting... Interesting. Itchy is the lymph nodes in their neck. Why not the lymph nodes in, let's say, their armpit, for example? Or... I don't know. Maybe even their groin, for fuck's sake. pleasant example but still it's actually kind of funny like no nah, I mean I suppose like any sort of really itchy part if it wasn't dying from like 
piercing the artery that should never be touched. It's dying from the, the lab loss, I'd assume. Is it hypervolemic shock or something like that? I can't remember. Displaying such symptoms, I agree. They I don't even think they can trust these test results anymore. I mean, this is just odd. Even in the late, even in, even in the late Dogginal's data, throat clawing is said to be a characteristic symptom of um, terminal stage patients. Yeah. However, not all patients experience that symptom. Interesting. So that's actually really interesting. You know, when Denner was doing the whole. Um, thing you know really really big suspicion related thing to me all of us yeah she was not exactly like leaving her throat alone was she besides emotional expression is very difficult it difficult different in each person fair enough even if it's the same emotion one patient may express it rather violently and another might express it can't that's fair enough yeah but the only thing is subtle doesn't do that when she's truly emotionally stressed you remember i mean i'm sorry for the really sad example but you remember when like she mistakes the um, principal as tip there and you know just from the sort of weight of his footstep and the thud really sounded like tip there yeah you remember how sort of scared she was she would be melting down if she had level five i can't believe she has it or at least it won't. that's what i would have thought at least there's no way of knowing just by looking at the person fair enough but the only thing is what the fuck are they going to do that's the chance detail tapes test results say So that she's at the terminal stage of the terminal stage, level five. In other words, she may be feeling what the man from last year was feeling. It's just that she isn't expressing that feeling in the same way as the man was. Or maybe it could potentially be she's not feeling it. Who knows? You really do wonder if potentially Oishi um, coming in and asking about the parent's death could really unlock just all of the odd sort of signs that she should be going through who knows numbers on the syndrome affects the frontal lobes of the brain stimulates the most primitive emotions out very strongly. Yeah. So there's more than one frontal lobe of the brain, I didn't realise that. As a result, terminal patients are trapped in delusions and paranoia and end up committing horrible crimes. Yeah. Yeah, and you really do see this with Sotical and um, you know why the fuck her parents died. Yeah. Nobody knows that about her. Sotoko-chan seems, uh, um, Sato seems to show improvement when she's exchanging friendly words with Sotoski. Brilliant. That's brilliant, yeah. Yeah, and you really do wonder if that could potentially be a very good way to cure her current really scary symptoms. You remember with Gacy and Denna? You literally saved Denna from, I don't know, who would have known what could potentially happen to her um, if she was actually sort of discovered. It's kind of hard to. If she was discovered by the whole um, Tokyo a lot, you do wonder if she maybe be kidnapped and then dissected. Who knows? I really need to reread some Hiroshima and sort of compare what she thought, what we all thought were delusions. 
with the actual science that's behind it and the truth. I really would be interested to see how it compares. But there's a paranoia stirring inside her heart that may put her in a deranged state at any moment. Exactly. That's just really scary to think. But she doesn't know this, she doesn't realise it. I can't let her leave the clinic like this. However, if things go wrong in the manual, I will have to make a decision on the dissection. Also, we can actually decide whether we want to do the dissection or not. That's, that's really good. So he can actually decline it. My decision will already be a formality. You've got to be kidding me, can he not? Donald Sun appears to already be working on. Oh no! Donald Sun appears to already be working on um, the dissection schedule. will then come to me. Would I feel the same way while dissecting Sotko Chan? Would I be able to experience that trance once again? No. No, you wouldn't. And if you do, then yeah, you have really lost a lot of humanity that should have been inside you. No, the question is, can I fight the temptation? This is unbelievable. As I pretend to question myself, I'm letting Dr. Mazan prepare things on her own. By doing so, am I passively agreeing to Sato Kutan's dissection? Interesting that he thinks he's um, pretending to question himself. Sacrifice for this research. Me neither. I don't want to dissect the. Yeah. I just really wonder how he's, he's actually going to say it. Because, I mean, she obviously doesn't get dissected in the end, but, like, what the fuck is going to happen? Then, what about the man from last year? Do I only care about the lives of people I know? That's fair enough. But the only thing is, this life. If you dissect it and you end it, it let it bears so much more weight. This person was going to die, let's be honest. Because of how deranged she was, it only will lead into the inner uh, throat territory. Lymph node territory, really. But like with Sotko, the thing is, she's not only a fucking child, but like she hasn't really reached any deranged state. And she has no itches. I mean, I get that she has a paranoia, but she hasn't got any of the sort of really really concerning signs i mean at least with this person you knew he was probably going to die anyway but to be fair you knew did you really 100 percent know that's actually a really interesting question yeah did you 100 percent know he was going to die or was that just he wasn't going to die or was that just the thought you made up but god it's so tricky if i don't dissect her do i let her live and leave the clinic yes you do oh my god but the only thing is, what if she leaves the clinic and then she becomes more deranged? Oh god, it's tricky. Do I simply wait for her to become deranged and create a horrible crime? Exactly. And then she'll end up here, just like the man from last year. And I'll end up dissecting her anyway. man from last year was dissected alive oh my god I kept away for several months that is just that really is just horrible wow I'm just 
really fucking surprised. So he was dissected alive. And no, I suppose because these people, they can't just publicly announce their research because of how unethical and sort of the intentions for the military that this research has. They can't announce it publicly, so they're going to have to dispose of the body. To think that they leave a body in a clinic for months before disposing, that's barbaric. I mean, all of this is barbaric, honestly. I mean, at least some of it has a good cause. It's leading to a good cause. But still. With his skull left open. Oh! Oh my! I thought when she was dissected, she was just going to die immediately. That is horrible enough. This. What the fuck? That is insane. I don't want to do that to her. I don't know what to do. I'm just... I am really fucking speechless right now. I'm just trying to contemplate, like... How would he have actually been alive? Was he... Would he be kept in really bad conditions? Or would he be actually fed and watered? And what about maintaining his body? How would he maintain his body with his skull open? And how would he, like, you know, digest things and... How would he wash? I don't know. Like wash him, wash himself. And how would he? How would he sleep? Oh my god! Oh, this is just horrible. This is horrible. I seriously cannot believe this. If these people actually found out what they were doing, they would be. They would have serious time in jail. Even debating and antagonizing over it is leading towards consent by our by, to a direct dissection by elimination. I know. Very, very scary. I really do wonder what's actually going to happen as a result. I really do wonder what is going to happen. So I think we can read this, but that is just seriously unbelievable. I am just shocked to read that. I just really wonder what's going to happen. I have a feeling that the compassion outside of VDA is going to get the best of them. And they're not going to use this opportunity for a dissection. And you know what? I'm not... I don't know that it's going to happen, but I bloody well hope it is. Jesus, dude. Yosuke EDS decision yet. Let's see if we can find out. Disappointment? Oh, poison me. Interesting. A roller for one? Interesting. 
suffering of the big brother and God. Oh, so it isn't actually there. Hmm, maybe it's going to be. Interesting. A level 5 stage patients dissection is required. What the hell? Hang on a second. So, oh, I mean, we can't access this one yet because of deep car. But still, it's just really damn scary. <gasps> oh, God. I wonder who this is actually going to be. Right. This is going to be idiot. I bet he's probably going to learn that. I kind of wish I read this first, but like he's probably going to learn about, you know, the opportunity that has sort of arisen to him. Oh god, I was half asleep so I didn't even hear the phone ringing nearby. After a while, I finally realised that the phone was ringing, and a ringing phone means that there's some kind of emergency. Damn, he's really not lonely. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, it is actually kind of weird though. It's two in the morning. That kind of explains it, yeah. It's either that somebody, I don't know, they've lost their keys to a house and they've been very drunk, or emergency. Who would even call me at that time of night? Yeah, fair enough. Hello, this is Edie. Oh, interesting. I'm sorry to bother you, Dr. Edie. It's talking or something. She never called me for a personal reason. Damn. That's actually kind of surprising, but yeah, I suppose so. They are strictly work partners. But still, it's just kind of surprising that it never really escalated to... And not really like relationship, but friendship, really. At the institute, she's ranked just below me, so she's basically responsible for running it. Yeah. So if I had to call me this late at night, it must be an emergency. Yeah. Sorry it took me so long. Oh yes, he's actually in the clinic. So I wonder if this is actually going to be the dissection of this man. Sorry it took me so long. Is it true that we have another person in the terminal? God, you can just hear his excitement. Yes. I was hoping to find a living specimen, so this is perfect. really see how little you are going to dissect a human being and all you can do is laugh I'm so sorry a live human being I just find it disgusting no matter how much in terms of good intentions these people have like Edie for example how can you leave somebody with their skull open for several months just for cool experiments it's, really, it's insane it really is this is just corrupt. It really is. I guess they have to do this in terms of their research, but this is going way, way too far. Is it though? That's the question. I don't know. It's, I don't really have many sort of ideas. Oh god. Yes, I was hoping to find a living specimen. I initially thought that she'd abducted somebody. Fair enough. to the research area in the clinic's basement. to the examination table oh my what does examination table look like oh my god I will never see an examination table the same again let me just show you guys what they look like hang on Look at this, right? Look at fucking this! 
when you go on it, you lie down and the doctors tell you what's wrong with you. And yet these people, they're literally being tied down to it. And they're being used as a fucking research. And that, like, the most painful thing a human being could potentially endure. That is just terrifying. I will never see one of these the same again, my god. I've been tied down to the examination table, he's actually... He's struggling against his restraints, but as more though he's deranged than he's actually resisting. Even if he wasn't deranged, he would be doing that. You cannot think that. I can't even understand what he's saying. Are you all... Oh my god. I can't even understand what he's saying. He sounds angry, sorrowful. Like a child from a dungeon all at once. God, that really is odd. It's just so horrible, this. But this is the worst of the illness, I suppose. It's obvious that he's not in the right state of mind. Yeah, no shit. Anyway, let's put him under anesthesia. What? Is that like an anesthetic? Oh, right, yeah, it is. Yeah, so loss of sensational awareness induced for medical or veterinary purposes. I mean, I suppose it is... No, so they're actually... I was actually under the impression that they were going to remove the skull and obviously get into the brain um, while he was actually still awake, but they're not. That's not as bad. It's still really fucking bad, but at least it's not as bad. Anyway, let's put him under and it says... Yeah. He might kill himself otherwise. I wanted to a a you are sick. You are seriously sick. I wanted to observe him a little longer, but I guess I have no other choice. Oh my god. Oh, one of the staff with a white gown got the anesthesia ready. Even a normal person would struggle. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Even a normal person would struggle to escape a restraining table in this suspicious room. But this man's behaviour isn't at a normal level. Right. So open up, he's saying that his friends from the dogs are the ones who captured him. Yep, of course. Now, that's actually fair enough. Capturing a, state, a man in a state of mind couldn't have been an easy task. And especially without getting caught as well. That must have been even harder. What if you just get one of those sort of things? Cloth. Put right over, right like where my hand is. Right on the mouth. They inhale the poison, they are unconscious for a little bit, and then you sort of take them there. That could potentially be a way to silence them, I suppose. According to Dr. Moss, he ran into, this, ran into this patient on our way home from the clinic by accident. Interesting. She brought him back here, tested him, and the result came back positive. Right, I'm actually really surprised is that the surprise that she can not only spot so I'm assuming the Hinamazawa syndrome was so bad that she could actually spot that um this was an occasion appropriate for testing. But it was also um It's also the fact that he actually cooperated to this test even though he was in such a deranged state. It surprises me. Of course, I have no intention of believing what she's just telling me. But there is no question that this man is at the terminal stage and a live specimen is exactly what we need to research the syndrome. Yeah. 
Who is that man anyway? Yeah, definitely. あの男が持っていた新聞の筒の中に何が入っていたと思います。これは何です？おおまいごボスエナーム。There's <gasps> Looking at the blood-drenched paper, I can only imagine there is something gruesome inside of it. I wonder if this is the last arm. Yeah, that last arm looks like she wanted to surprise me with something interesting. <laughs> Close your eyes, motherfucker. And then, once you've opened them, you, you know, you know get the wrapper untied. And then you realise, ah, it's a fucking severed arm. I'm gonna be surprised. Oh god, this is awful. It's... It's a bloody right arm. So this answers the mystery of where the right arm was. Interesting. Very, very interesting. The man on the table still has his. Yep. That's the worst thing. This one arm doesn't belong to him. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So who does it belong to? I'm used to looking at things like this as a doctor. Fair. But the horrible cross section makes me want to look away. That's for sure. It was obviously done out of cruelty. Yeah. It was, yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Why is she so excited? This is like the worst moment when you've sort of scared about what's gonna happen next. She is the worst person to be around, my god. I'm trying to remember the situation with the machine when this man cut off his arm. As for that point, there was no way of knowing who the right arm belonged to. Fair enough, yeah. But then, but the next morning, the dismemberment murder of the damn construction site director was reported, and they mentioned that his right arm was still missing. So we learnt who that arm belonged to. Yep. This man has a good reputation. Yeah, that was the assault. Yeah, he committed another crime. Yeah. I bet he dismembered the woman who died. Yep, that's exactly what he did. Yeah. Yeah.
I'm sure it depends on the circumstances, but he will get more than just a few years in prison. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. But the only thing is he's in a very deranged state, but because nobody understands the derangement, I don't think that can be an excuse. And obviously the illness he has. And that was on a syndrome at level 5. So he won't hesitate to yeah, So he won't hesitate to dissect a scumbag like him, right? Who knows? Maybe he was a scumbag before and became violent because of the syndrome. Or maybe he had gone straight but became violent because of the syndrome. Exactly. Yeah. The former is one thing, but if it's the latter case, it's not his fault. Yeah, definitely. Even if it wasn't, even if it was the first one, it wouldn't be his fault. No fucking way. It's horrible. It really is. The worst thing is I don't even know. That's why Hinamazawa syndrome is so terrifying. Yeah, we can't tell if the syndrome is the cause of the crime. Or if, if it's simply a problem of human nature. Yeah. But what causes a defect of human nature in the first place? That's what pre that was precisely Yudia's area of research. Yeah, interesting. them with imprisonment? Well, sometimes no. Especially with derangement diseases like these ones. Good. If a person commits a crime because of a mental disorder but then gets treatment, he is corrected. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But I suppose crime isn't really... The crime isn't really replaced for, but at the same time... Is that really good? Because if mental order, mental disorders caused the crime to actually happen in the first place, this person wouldn't have. It would definitely be one of those cases if the person was okay, then he wouldn't have committed the crime. But then you've got to ask the question what caused the mental disorder? It's tricky. In other words, there are no crimes in this world only patients awaiting treatment without anyone else being able to understand them. Interesting. What about mistakes though? That's my question. What about framing as well I suppose? Interesting. Patients with mental orders were said to be possessed by demons, or either confined or killed. Jesus. Medieval times, though. Medieval was one of the most evil, coincidentally evil. It was one of the most evil periods of history, though. Some of the things I've learned about torture methods, Jesus fucking Christ.
Centuries after they finally acknowledged us, they were finally acknowledged as mentally ill people who needed treatment. Perception can change with time, yeah, definitely. Even if they are called criminals now, maybe after several centuries, those criminals would be acknowledged as patients who were entitled to appropriate treatment. Yeah, that's interesting. Explaining crimes through illness instead of malice. That's my life's work. Fair enough, yeah. Another little syndrome is a strange disease that can support my theory. Solving this mystery is extremely important to me. Fair enough, yeah. To solve those mysteries, I need a medical sacrifice. Yeah, that's that's the really hard part. The thing that's really awful about this, and this is just sort of sacrifices as well. I mean, sometimes sacrifices don't really have a good cause. I mean, most of the time they do, but sometimes they don't. But like, in this case, it's like, sacrifice this person for the potential chance of, um, in the future this not being able to happen to other people because of there actually being a cure for it. But the only thing is, you have no say in that. You're fucking deranged. How could you decide if you want to be sacrificed? These people were just forcing it on you. They're forcing the worst possible fate, really. This kid is using the word fate. Bruh. Extremely simple thing to do. It is my god. But there's no way to unravel this without it. But at the same time, that is true. The EDA Institute was authorized to take such drastic method measures if necessary. Interesting. That was why I was asked about it so many times where I accepted that when I accepted the position of the director, yeah, that's fair enough. Because these stuff these drastic measures, they could change a man. They really could. The thing that's worse about these things, if you confess to, let's say, a therapist that you've actually done something like this, yeah, you're going straight into jail, mate. You really are. Or maybe you're going to be, you're going to be in treatment and then you're going to be put in jail. That could potentially be possible. I don't know though. And finally, the opportunity is here. Yeah, yeah, definitely. This will be the first step of our research on this strange disease. But even now, I am a little hesitant. Yeah, definitely, yeah. I've opened up human bodies in many, many surgeries. But they've never been alive. That's the thing. Well, I mean, I suppose they definitely have been alive, but, yeah, they're not going to feel the aftermath. They're not, in the aftermath, they're going to be closed up. It's going to be like nothing happened. They're not going to be fucking open. Ugh. What are we doing on this man? I've got to sleep after this, by the way. Can I just sort of mention that? <laughs> oh, I, I don't want to think about that. What are we doing on this man? Something very similar. But there's also something that's very different. What I did before was part of a treatment. I did it to save the patient's lives. Yeah, I did it so the patient could have a better future. But what I'm trying to do here isn't treatment. He will die at the end of it, exactly. 
His death will be far from you, mate. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna violate nature and force him to stay alive. No, oh, I open up his living brain. Oh god, it's true though. That is unbelievable though. He's gonna open up his brain while he is still alive. It's just unbelievable. It just really is unbelievable that a disease would be so bad that they'd have to do this. But isn't there like the living brain eating... What's it called? Yeah, um... Nagleria Fowleri. The brain eating amoeba. How did they discover that? That's like kind of the most real equivalent of Amazon or something, I suppose. I don't know much about it. I've literally only seen it on my human's... A human? YouTube recommendations, even. But, yeah. I should watch it. It's actually kind of... It looks interesting. Oh, God. Are you listening? Yeah. Ah, sorry. Can you repeat that? Yeah, fair enough. I think the best that we should submit the dissection proposal to talk to and request their assistance. He's not only alive, but he's also in a terminal state, so he's an extremely important specimen. This is irritating, man. My eyelash is just about it. Right, that way, that's good. I wonder why they'd. Yeah, I wonder why they'd assist in, though. We must conduct a dissection very quickly. Oh god, yeah, yeah. That's true, you're right. Let's do as you say. Damn, no objections at all. But I suppose, yeah. I think we'll have a few days before the dissection. Oh god. Poor man though, like, I mean... He's literally going to be restrained for days. He's not going to be able to eat. He's not going to be able to drink. He doesn't know that he'll be dissected, but still. Even if he's deranged, who gives a fuck? He is still feeling this. Can you imagine what he's going through? Just, that's so inhumane. If the dissection wasn't inhumane enough, God. Blech. We'll have a few days before the dissection. So I want to run some reaction tests once he's off the anesthetic. Reaction tests? Jesus, it's just like a fucking prisoner at this point. It does really remind you of, you know, the unit 731 stuff. Do you think that's sad? Yeah, fair enough. Even if he's restrained, we don't know what will happen. Yeah, fair enough. This person will be off the roof in suspicion. God, could you imagine, also, if this person is, like, really, really deranged and the parasite is actually causing, like, irregular amounts of chemicals in, like, the lymph nodes, could you imagine how much itching he would be going through? He would be going mad just trying to itch stuff like that, but he wouldn't be able to, obviously. I cannot imagine what he'd be going through. I do find it interesting, though, to think... I really do wonder how long it is to live with level 5 um, without itching. Like, I wonder what would actually happen if you never itched your lymph nodes, if that was actually possible. We finally have the opportunity to test a live specimen. We can't only look into this brain. You've got to be kidding me. Are they going to... I mean, reaction tests. I wonder what that could mean. God. Takano-san's unusual cheerfulness made me feel odd. 
Maybe her reaction is normal. Yeah, normal for her. God. Maybe her reaction is normal. Maybe I am the one who's not reacting normally in this situation. Please do not think that. Please. I'm here only for the research. So I should be excited to have the opportunity to perform our first live dissection. Yeah, fair enough. I'm still hesitant. Yeah, definitely. You would not be a human being if you're not hesitant. And I don't get why Dr. Mazan is not hesitant, but... You really do wonder why she is so mad. Like, seriously, there's a difference between, like, being really ambitious and being a fucking... Just... I don't really know, having as much as... <laughs> as having a sense of humanity as she does in her. Really, but I'm still hesitant. How can I call myself a researcher? Researchers of the past were very nice to cross the line, and that's... Oh, shit. Researchers of the past are the past across the line. So, there's many things. I've seen many brains have operated on them. I've lost some patients. Oh, God. I've lost some patients, too. But I never thought anything of it because I knew I did the right thing. Yeah, and I suppose with this, it's really difficult to tell if it's right or wrong. More wrong than right, but at least some right causes will come after it. Even when my hard work was denied afterwards. God. So he's really tried to sort of prove things via the brains he's actually operated on. And yet, some of it has actually been denied. Yeah, I suppose because that's the hard work, it's the lobotomy related stuff. If it paid me to think of that, then. I just needed to work out the field of medicine to sure that deaths weren't wasted. Yeah, yeah. That was the true form of um, those of arts in the field of medicine. Yeah, why was my heart tormented so much by changing the name from treatment to dissection? Yeah, yeah, fair enough. It's because of the life and death aspect and how much less humane it is. great men of the past who open the doors to new medicine that I don't have the power to develop new advances myself no it means you're a right person you are right if you consider these things before doing something as big as this you are whether you are right for actually doing the big thing is I don't know that's a debate in itself but you are definitely right for considering these things and if anything the more doubts you have and the more you're willing to step over the line of out of your comfort zone, I suppose, the more strong you will become in terms of a researcher, really, and that's what he has done. Hey, 
thought I was pretending to be concerned about that, but she knows. Yeah, yeah, definitely. She knows I'm still hesitating. Yeah. And she's telling me that I should be ashamed. As a researcher for feeling that way. I shook my head to clear of sleepiness. Yeah, no, I suppose. I mean, he's definitely having a lot to fucking think about just because of it being two in the morning. Well, I mean, probably three or four now, but like, still, maybe even five, who knows. Remember the result that brought me here to this day. I already have blood on my hands. That's fair enough, yeah. But if I stop now, their lives will be wasted. Fair enough. Those who shed their blood can only rest in peace once they put on the chromosomes of great research. But what if they aren't supporting the research? If anything, maybe that would be even worse for some of them. Shook my head once more and reminded me that I'm a researcher. Oh god, this is such a difficult occupation to have. My god, it really is. Yeah. Let me know when it's done. God. I mean I suppose it's really difficult for me to actually comment whether we should have done this or shouldn't have. But to be fair, even if he really, really didn't want to, we probably would have had to anyway. Let's be real. Okay, I understood. <laughs> oh, God, that laugh, man. This is really exciting. I do really find it interesting that she has no questions about, like, any sort of dissection. But I suppose maybe because she's so enthusiastic about her research and so obsessed by it, she's willing to break the rule of literally being a human. Who knows? The least I can do is my best, so his life won't be wasted. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I suppose so. If he bleeds, I can't even waste a drop of his blood. After scolding my staff for their um, indiscretion of discussing um, their dissection with such excitement, <laughs> I returned to my office. I like that he scolded them, that's good. Must have been half the EDM. That really, really must have been. But the only thing is, like he said, like his occupation is a researcher. It's his job to do this. But even though that said, it's still so difficult. I couldn't imagine what you'd have to feel and how hard it'd be. But yeah, that's just really, really scary. But the thing is, I actually haven't. I just genuinely can't believe about the whole. Um, research related thing like especially what happened after that's the most shocking thing i didn't wonder what the reaction things are actually testing as well wonder if this could be something we could read can we oh we can right okay i think this is probably going to be the last one i read shit i didn't even make a note of what it was called the last one no, it's just the first sacrifice. That very night, right, it's going to be really interesting um, to see what's actually going to happen here. Because this is another part of the... I, I thought it was like the Queen Carrier or something like that. 
I really do wonder what's going to happen regarding this. This isn't an aspect of Hinamas I've seen that we never really looked at. Rudika? Does she have it? Or something ridiculous like that? I wonder. Or maybe do her parents have it? Hmm. That very nice. The head of the Hudede family, the priest, um, gathered his wife and Rika together for a family meeting. In Namazawa, it was a tradition for the three families to gather and discuss the village's issues. Oh, right. So, it was hardly unusual for the big families like the Somosaki family and the Kimiyoshi family to have meetings beforehand to sort out opinions among themselves. Oh, right. Yeah, so it could potentially be about that, but I don't know. I kind of just get the impression like it's not going to be about that, you know? However, the Hudede family had lost its branch families, so um, there were only three of them left. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So until that day, they never had a family meeting at all. Damn, that's actually odd. I wonder why they're having it then. What is it? You're being so formal. What is it? You're being so formal. Is it about the dam construction? The dam was the most important issue with the village at the moment. Oh, right. Interesting. Because we really are sort of reading them in disjointed manners. Like, this was meant to be what we were reading, like, after the first sacrifice. Not when we were reading it. The wife naturally assumed that the priest wanted to talk about the dam. Yeah, fair enough. You really do find it that, like, the wife and the priest, it just really sounds disconnected, you know? You would have never really thought these people were married. For him to gather all of them together like that, it must have been a huge decision he had to make. Yeah. he was going to talk about joining the pro evacuation camp oh that'd actually be really interesting to see what happened if they did and how they would treat Dika as well yeah no it's not about the dam which concerns the village and perhaps all of the ancestors of the village too I wonder if it's about Hinamazawa syndrome. I wouldn't be surprised. The Hudede family had served in the priest of the Boyasu as a guardian deity of the village for generations. Yeah. So for him, the head of the family, to start out that way, it must have been something extremely important. Ah, oh, right, yeah, fair enough, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he said it wasn't about the dam, so what could he want to talk about? Yeah. I married into this family. So I want you and Rika to carry the truth out of the Hudede family. So listen very carefully. You two aren't normal human beings. Yeah, it's actually kind of weird to think. Right. 
そういうのは口にしてはいけません。You guys, you あなた、そういう話は理科のいないところでしましょう。Oh, それでなくても、集会所の年寄りたちが理科に妙なことばかり吹き込んで。Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm sure she really doesn't like the fact that she's sort of being treated special because, like, I don't know, some her bizarre family arrangement and just who she is, really. I suppose she really hates that she is a reincarnation. She just wants. She's either jealous or she just wants like, her to be a normal human being and her not to really think like that. Yeah. Interesting. But I suppose the elderly people would have probably. They're very superstitious, they probably would have said a lot. その親代様の生まれ変わりというのがどうも本当らしいのかなと思っていたんですけど、私は本当に知っていたんですけど、私は本当に知っていたんですけど、私は本当に知っていたんですけど、私は本当に知っていたんですけど、私は本当に My father had an unfounded expression on her face, not knowing what he was going to say, but he got us completely relaxed, wearing a usual carefree expression. この村にはオウムガシからある病気があるの。Oh, yeah, yeah. それはこの地にだけある特別な病気。フード病というものです。Now, this. This. Would, would それにはこの村に住む者が全員かかっている。Yeah. この村に住んでいるものだけで大昔から住んでいたご先祖様たちもみんなみんなずっとこの病気にかかってきたのだ。Actually, have lived here, have had the disease. <laughs> well, we all perfectly healthy. Yeah, I've heard, I've never heard of a disease exclusive to this village. Yeah, that's the point. It's secret. And you do really wonder maybe this sort of breach of information that's meant to be secret that could potentially be why he was killed. I don't know. Calm down. There's some sort of here in the village. The disease won't cause any problems. Yeah. But once you move away from this village, that's when it starts to act out. Yeah. Do you understand? <laughs> yeah, fair enough. How can you expect me to understand such a thing? I have no idea what you're talking about. It's the same as the castle of the Asura Sama. I think I said it so calmly while my mother became frustrated. この村から離れると、あたりがあるのと同じなのか。つまり、親代様のたたりだと
ご先祖様たちが代々恐れてきたのはこの村だけにしかないフード病のせいだったのだ。How can that be possible? We've left the village before. Yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah. Other villagers. Some of them are in business trips. You can travel to foreign, foreign countries. That's actually really interesting, yeah. それは長い長い時間をかければ消えてなくなってしまうものだったのだ。だがそれがダム戦争のせいでおかしくなったらしい。So hang on a second, these people can't actually, um, these people can actually have the opportunities to go very far in Yamazawa from, like, uh, a consistent sort of amount of time just because of the pathogen inside them being a lot weaker and it sort of eventually being disappearing. Things that can disappear. And I suppose it could definitely disappear if it was so weak that it couldn't really act. Yeah, but this is the dam disrupted that process. ブラジルが熱に浮かされたように興奮している状態になるのそういう興奮状態が非常に不安定な状態は熱を伝えるのが非常に不安定な状態は熱を伝えるのが非常に不安定な状態は熱を伝えるのが非常に不安定な状態は
How can I swear to That's fair enough. Very difficult, Lei Adashi. This is a desecration of the Hurudei family's age-old traditions. No, this is a desecration of... Why has I got some? Who told you such a thing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who told you such a thing? Yeah, yeah. The science people, maybe? <laughs> people that actually have scientific and genuine evidence? And that are trying to research to prevent this from happening? Yeah, maybe, maybe not really a reliable source. I don't know. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Literally the most reliable source you could get. This is acceptable. In the first place, can you, can you prove such a disease actually exists? That's fair enough, but yeah throat and the brain frontal lobe yeah just don't don't prove it how are you gonna prove it <laughs> i can what kind of proof who gave it to you the people from the ministry of <laughs> yeah. the people from the ministry of health and the national institute of infectious disease prevention いや、現在も私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私
私の口からはこれ以上うまく説明できん。もし私の説明では納得できんと言うなら、お前も直接話を聞いてみればいい。そうだね。そういうことだよね。ああ、なるほどね。ちょっと待って、ね。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。Because, like, the average person in Hinamazawa doesn't have the knowledge of the syndrome, like, for example, Nena, you know? All the suspicion she got from it. She didn't know about the syndrome at all. So, I suppose. I, I do wonder where he actually got this knowledge from. But he actually had the documents of the research, didn't he? That he cast out. I was wondering how I dared to blast him when I was passing along his bike's house and answers. Hmm, definitely. And do you keep in mind this man is a priest, he is very, very religious, so to, for him to actually accept this is very surprising, but the only thing is this man is very, very calm. He is a peaceful, he's a peaceful guy, and he's just very level-headed and calm, really, so it doesn't surprise me that he would be able to solve it peacefully. And he and rationally, and he wouldn't like think religion is the only answer, but it's just really surprising still because he's a bloody priest. But I suppose you don't really have to be religious to be a priest. I mean, you don't really have to be, to be fair, but still, I'm not saying that he's not religious, it's just like it's not the most religious, and you don't have to be the most religious to be a priest. I don't even know. その病気を研究するためにイリエ診療所が作られたというあそこは表向きはただの診療所ということになっているが実際は病気を調べるための隠し研究所らしいシグリセスはリキュラスです。それも構成者でやっていることなら堂々とやればいいじゃないですか。ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ。この病気の実態を把握しないまま存在するという事実だけが不十分な知識で広まってしまったら病気を持っている人たちはもちろん無関係の人々も勘違いしたストレスを受けることになる。Lots of really disgusting images. What? Oh. Bacterial infection that affects the nerves, skin, and organs. Not colored or red skin patches reduce sensation of touch, pins, and Needles, numbness, weakness in the hand and feet, pain in the joints, disfiguring skin sores, weight loss, eye damage, hair loss. Jesus Christ! So I'm assuming they'd probably be discriminated for like the massive red spots and like the patches of skin that are just dodgy, really. God, that's horrible. ひなみざわの人間は皆怪しげな病気にかかっていてそのせいでとんでもないことをするかもしれないなどという噂が日本中に知れ渡ったら大変だ。
厚生省もそのことを心配していて、この病気については、厳重に伏せた上で、治療を目指すらしい。What if somebody who gets confidential information could actually leak it to people higher above? Hmm. It could happen, but it's very unlikely. Tokyo would definitely be on their case. Would they be? Well, very likely, I think. ムラから出るだけで発病するかもしれない病気など。ドレホド危険なものかわかるだろう。イーズリー、イーズリー、イーズリー。繰り返しになるが、昨今、反ダム戦争で、ムラ全体が強い興奮状態になって、南側症候群
good. Don't have such large scale equipment. Jesus, these this research center is so budgeted that it literally has better equipment than a hospital. That is mad. I mean, I knew that a lot of money was invested invested into this, but I didn't realize it was that much. Jesus Christ. I suppose it's big disease, big research. A lot of military impact as well. That's a lot of money. If you can't believe it, I've just told you, you should go to the research center yourself and ask questions. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. I'm actually surprised though that the research center would actually tell people about this publicly. But I suppose, who did their family member, maybe it could be more important. But this has never really been sort of told to the public. Maybe it's just those who ask, or maybe it's just like those who have people that know, that are in the know really. Who knows? They can explain to you better than I can. Fair enough. They said that they said that if they're in the Tokyo Research Center, they can explain to you better than I can. They said that if they're in the National Research Center, the National Research Institute in Tokyo, or even in the Ministry of Health's main office. Yeah, I think that just really shows you. Oh my God. Whether I believe it or not, how are we related to that? Oh, now she's really gonna realize. She is going to realize a lot. That is if father actually says. Yep. Oh boy, here's where the beans are spilled. It says that the Hudede family inherited the blood of Yasuda Zama. And it also says that if a born, and it's, um, and it is also said that if a girl was born for eight continuous generations, that eighth generation girl would be the reincarnation of Yasuda Zama. Why eight though? It's so specific. I'm the seventh. And Yuka is the eighth generation. But what does that even have to do with the disease? Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> oh no, I suppose about the green carrier stuff. I completely forgot about that. Of course they need to know. Although they're very tiny, you can't even see them with the naked eye. They say there's a sort of leader among the parasites. それが古出家だとおっしゃるんですか。その親分格の寄生虫は代々古出家の直径だけに受け継がれるらしい。え、appears that in other words, the previous gen in the previous generation, it was you. <laughs> I can't believe it. it must be so weird just the way we just learn this, and especially things like this. I mean, you really wouldn't be able to tell like what the fuck is the balance between the real world and the sci-fi world at this point. Like, my god. And now it's Dika. Yep. Meep. Meep. D 
Key Car is literally the person who has been the most sane out of all this. I mean, to be fair, their dad is probably going through the most sort of sanity, but like, Key Car's mum is the only person who's showing like any emotion. <laughs> I mean, especially Key Car as well. You would have thought. I think she already knows this, but. Yeah. Of course, of course, she would actually. Because how many worlds would it, would she have gone where this conversation has been had? Who knows? That's ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. Why would it be something as disgusting as a parasite in the first place? Because this game needs interesting content. I mean, uh, 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 uh fair enough. Fair question. It's actually kind of a fair question, though. Why? だから落ち着きなさいと私では説明が下手だ。そして彼らが言うには、この領域の治療を研究するためには、親族の研究が不可欠だというのだ。おお、シット、そうだ、つわい。Right, she is the parasite leader, and I suppose a lot of studying and maybe even dissections of her can be very valuable to them. That's really scary to think. Yeah, I won't have anything to do with such suspicious research, and Lika won't either. Fair enough. But the only thing is, this is a forceful organization they're dealing with. You really don't know if these people will do it without their consent. Just because of how bad they're doing things. I mean, like, look at, look at any of the dissections. Did they have consent? No. It's a fucking answer. お前も小さかった頃、村人から見て、あ、いい、いい、いい、いい、いい、いい、いい、いい、いい、いい、いい、いい、いい、いい、いい、いい、いい、いい、いい、いい、いい、いい、いい、いい、いい、いい、いい、
It is really scary disease like that because it's not really that bad. It's not bad at all. I mean, heck, these people don't even know that they have a disease. I mean, they don't even if they're at the worst stages, but like, they haven't known about a disease. Um, it's not really, it's not really been a problem so much so that studying it hasn't been urgent. It was when it was at its worst, but now it isn't really because it's sort of calmed down in terms of its severity, but still, a disease fine at the moment can really, really lead to worse things. I can't imagine how much of a monster sort of time it must have been in running off to you when like you had everybody infected with um, level 5. Well, quite a lot of people infected with level 5 must have been horrible. それだけの大変な病気だから、厚生省がわざわざたくさんの予算を投じて、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、い
だからお前も研究所を見せてもらいなさいあれだけの大切にダムコに沈むかもしれないけど立てるわけがない yeah, fair enough but the only thing is they are genuine plans and they have gone through so it could potentially be submerged but the only thing is they have to build it there that's another point All this adult talk is probably making her really bored and really fucking tired. <laughs> Think I'll let out a big yawn. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah, fair enough. It was long past bedtime for a little girl like her. I'm going to bed now. Dad, please. Damn. I feel bad for her mum. Uh, that could potentially be why her mum sort of is not really sort of liking her as well because they're disagreements. Who knows? Dad, please let them know I'm willing to participate, okay? D. You can't make such a decision without consulting me. That's fair enough, yeah, because. Yeah. I suppose she's done it from the heart, but the only thing is she hasn't really done it with the most informed heart, let's just say that. Dika, wait, Dika. Oh, right. Wow, God, that really is interesting to think. What is going to happen with that research? I do wonder because. I think they are definitely going to get sort of, you know, the Roman stuff that we learnt about that was sort of similar to the ant related things. Um, that's going to be really interesting to sort of see how they're going to study that because they're obviously going to take a lot of blood samples. They can't kill her. But the only thing that's kind of scary is they don't know that. Um... Oh, so we don't have Nika's mother's suspicion. Wait, we do actually. We can read the third sacrifice, right? That's going to be really, really interesting. But, um, yeah. Uh, that's also going to be interesting. Oh my god, there's so much, dude. So much and so little idea of where to start. God, dude. That was really, really cool today. I'm very, very excited to... 1am, exactly. Well, um, I'm really, really excited to actually um play it tomorrow. And just play it, um sort of... Further and further on. It was really, really interesting today seeing, like, oh my god, seeing just the weight of the dissection and especially the dilemma and stuff going on, like the dissection um, of the the first guy. Oh god, that was that was just really awful just learning about stuff like that. And oh my god, it was really interesting learning about like South Korea's sort of uh, like the um, <laughs> the abuse and bullying that her family has sort of got. I really, it really was unpleasant to learn that, but yeah, it happened. It's the saddest thing, it did happen. There's nothing that you can sort of do. Right, requesting assistance from Queen. Yeah, sorry, I, I really like to sort of write down the names of the story, so I can, I, I'm going to sort of look back to them and see if I've actually sort of met the criteria, if I haven't remembered that is. Yeah, yeah, dude. Oh, I really can't wait to play this um, more tomorrow. <laughs> I just really love how interesting these stories are, though. Like, they're so, um, they're so small, and yet they're just so sort of trivial, and you get so many sort of... I don't mean trivial in a bad sense, I mean trivial in a good way, like you get so much trivia and information and just you're informed about so many new things. And I do really find it interesting, like there's so much of a history to Hinan as well that we never even saw, like it's like a completely different history. Just because of Hinan was our syndrome and the disease and everything to sort of do better. I'm really interested to sort of find out what's going to actually happen with this research. 
and I'm interested, especially about Sotoko and like Sotoshi, maybe he's going to find out about the dissertation, who knows? Oh, it's going to be really, really interesting. But yeah, I am going to win today. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I definitely enjoyed that, dude. That was really bloody interesting. So yeah, I'm going to go to bed now. See ya. See ya.